One letter that changed Palestinian history. On the 2nd of November 1917, during the First World War, the British Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom, Arthur Balfour, wrote a letter to the British Zionist peer, Lord Walter Rothschild, expressing the British government's support to establish a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This letter later became known as the Balfour Declaration, a historic promise by Britain to hand over lands that it did not own, laying out the foundation for the settler colonial state of Israel. In the words of the late British author and journalist Arthur Kohlsler, here was one nation promising to another nation the country of a third nation. The Balfour Declaration enabled the Zionist movement to embark on their systematic takeover of Palestine on the grounds of seeking a homeland for the Jewish people and a Jewish right to self-determination. However, the creation of a Jewish state in Palestine directly contradicted the principles of this right, costing the Palestinians their own. At the time, Jews only constituted 10% of the population of Palestine, yet Britain chose to solely recognise the right to national self-determination of the tiny minority, dismissing Palestinians who were the majority as mere existing non-Jewish communities and denying their national and historic roots to Palestine. Later, in 1948, came the Nakba, when followers of Zionism gave themselves the supremacist right to expel the Palestinian people from their homeland through terror, to make way for a Jewish state to be created on their lands, refusing to allow them their right to return, and treating the ones who remained as second-class citizens. This process completely disregarded the basic human rights and aspirations of the Palestinian people, destabilising an entire region and leading to the longest military occupation in recent history. This was one promise 103 years ago that resulted in thousands of Palestinians falling victim to the greed of colonialism, expansion and ethnic cleansing.